<laughs> let's get into and and this is a circuit symbol what color i gave blue no hmm. will hide it how to implement this uh, let me write a logic operation i think okay this one both the inputs are low output will be low any one input is low the output will be low when both the inputs are high then only it will be i <coughs> so let, let me write that logical what is the logic hind operation when both the inputs are high then only the output will be high in all in all remaining all other cases in all other cases the output will be low finish so how do we how do we can implement that operation again this we have a circuit here okay i'll start with first the diode okay this we have a battery of 5 volt i'll, I'll this one okay first case first we'll go for first case here Now what is the first case when a is zero b is zero i i think directly i can say zero only you you know that when both are earth it time being will explain no first bo both are at no so both are at means so definitely what is the output voltage v not will be zero so what is the uh, your logic zero zero and we'll get logic here zero why is called as output a and b are called as inputs when both the inputs are low the output will be y so what are a and b a and b are the inputs here uh, again some of you are asking so what are inputs and what is y an output with this so next again uh, we'll make uh, what is our next condition this is our third i think battery symbol and this one so because of this now b is logic 1 is applied here here logic 0 so we'll see what what will happen here what happened to diode d2 d2 both are un, both are forward biased here so what is the state of both the diodes please all of you i think uh, uh, go back to the diode ideas we have you have enough of diode ideas no let me shift it up because i have to i'll accommodate everything here only yeah now first case uh, tell me what is the state of both the diodes forward biased am i right how how v not is zero because we have to justify v not equal to 0 volt 0 volt you write it and not logic zero output voltage is 
zero volt here. Hmm. Now, what is the state of diode? D one is forward biased. D two is also forward biased. If the forward bias, what we are going to do? We are going to replace with a short circuit. Then all the current, how it will flow? It will flow like this. No, no, no current will come here. Or, or if this is short circuit, better. Okay, let me think. If this is short circuit, if this is short circuit, then then uh, what is the voltage here? What is the voltage at this point? There will be the voltage here. Or oh, no, sir, diode forwarded by zero point seven volt. Okay, let it be. Even zero point seven volt, we are going to take it to be what like logic zero only because I just made zero point eight. No, some books they went even up to one point two. Okay, fine, no problem. So anything the value from zero volt to zero point eight, what we see, it is said to be logic zero only. So sir, like actually, what happened? How much will come? Zero point eight will come here. Still, zero point seven will come. So it is less than zero. Like it definitely should be logic zero only. So both the diodes are forward biased. So if you go for ideal short circuit, then what is the potential at this point will be same thing. So zero volt. Okay, what will happen here now? This will be like unbiased, no? Plus five volt, plus five volt, plus five volt, five volt. So diode D one. Second case. D one will be forward biased. D two will be unbiased. Then how the whole current? The whole current will pass through like this. The whole current will pass through like this here. Then this diode is forwarded by short circuit. Short circuit and this one. So definitely, what happens? The potential at this point will be zero volt only. So what is V not zero volt? Logic zero. Uh, able to make it out? I'll, I'll, I'll put once again. Diode D one is forwarded by replaced with a short circuit. Short circuit, and this unbiased. So definitely, what happens? The effect will be here. Here it will be like a when you measure potential here, like a plus V not. You write loop equation from here to here. Plus V not minus zero. So V not equal to how much? Zero. But sir, this unbiased. Unbiased means nothing is there, no? Sir, any uh, is it like nothing is there? So no current will flow here. I think similar case situation for A zero. Okay, this is I think logic. Similar situation will happen for the third case here. Now let me go for the third situation. Logic one, logic zero. So this this will not be there, and the cell I am going to connect in there. Logic one, yeah, logic zero. And the current will take a path like this. So D one will be unbiased. And D two will be forward biased. Same similar situation. So then, then, then what will be the Output voltage is zero, so Y will be zero. Output will be zero. So for any one input is low, the output will be low. Okay, the last case.
only only i think this circuit will trouble you huh? rest of everything you can enjoy Okay, no. Uh, this uh, what is the conclusion we have to make it? Both the diodes are forward biased. Okay, no. What all current is there? I'll write I dash. I dash. I will break break up. I dash. I dash. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no current. No. Now what is the state of both the diodes? Both the diodes are unbiased. D1, D2. D2 is also unbiased. Unbiased means no current. Am I right? So what, will, what should happen to that current? The current will take a path like this. Uh, th this is very important. Please do follow. Here you are connecting old meter no? through that a current will flow or, or books open to make you understand they are given a register and the drop across register is what 5 volt otherwise current cannot jump. Hmm? So I think uh, to not not to trouble you actually I'll connect a old meter so that old meter again you may it may not flash for you. So what I bring is like let there be a one register. Now this current will pass through it. call RL load and this is a Y and the drop across this is what V naught no and how much V naught 5 volt so what is the logic here the logic here is 1 here also the, the treasury that if you want I'll, I'll bring it some books they have shown some books they are not shown so therefore i'm, I'm just giving up both the ideas huh? again don't compare things as a rest or not there let there be old meter okay doesn't make much difference huh? I, i'm just assuming now a register is there through that current flows there'll be a drop is generated if the rest are not there there should have been old meter Uh, some different books they're given different expressions so i just uh, try, trying to cover all the ideas huh? so that you should not uh, compare and get confused so the is it fine okay the logic hind operation what is that when both the inputs are high then only output will be high in all other cases the output will be low and how do we represent that logic hind gate this is a gate this is a symbol circuit symbol Year afterwards, we need not to draw all these things. What need not to draw? You need not to draw all these register, everything straight away. Just draw this symbol. This will be enough. Especially competitive exam. Nobody will ask you these things. No, I think you should come out of this. I, I think already I, I discussed some problems huh, with one register here. Whether diode is forwarded by or reverse bias. Calculate the current through the diode. If current is negative, it will be unbiased or if it is a current is positive then it's said to be followed by we discussed numerical so if you want you can take that numerical approach or just this enough but i think competitive exams nobody will ask you this construction so only for if you go for board exam only this this will come into picture okay this is about the logic hind operation okay let's next we'll go for not 